step five is soldering in resistor arrays. Now we have four of these and one is a bit special. We need the three that are the same that have five pins. And those are called R4, R5 and R8. And again orientation does matter. On one position there is a dot. If you have, can read the text the dot is on the left and the dot is also marked on the board. So if we take a look on the board there is one pin that sticks out that is, has a square hole and that is pin 1. So again we turn the board over and we use one hand to solder one pin and again what I like to do is I like these components to set on the board really neatly so now it's a little bit askew so I heat it up a little bit and I use my finger on the other side to move it correctly in place so it's still a little bit off Okay, this is good and now I solder in the other pins and I redo the pin I've just reheated to make sure the joint is good. So we're doing three of these, pin one in the correct position. A little bit of solder, move it straight, yep, and the third one I have to look for is over here. Pin one correct. And we are also going to solder in the blinking lights, the four remaining LEDs that go on the top left. As we've already learned, the LEDs have a positive and negative side. The positive is the long one, which is marked by a plus sign on the board. So I like this to be aesthetically pleasing, so I solder in, solder one side, then I move all the LEDs to the correct position, solder the other side, quick double check, looks nice. So here again we have to get rid of the excess wire. Yes, this is fine. So now if we power it on, something should happen, but it's not determined. It could be any of these lights that are on, because there is no um, instruction decoder yet, so it's not actually doing something. 